Okay, so the next step in a project would be to define which loudspeakers you want to use. There are a bunch of loudspeakers in the database and it's possible to add more. More about that later. The loudspeaker templates are here, so I go into that view. And the purpose of the loudspeaker templates is to define which types of loudspeakers we have in the project and how they would be connected to amplifiers. Often in a project there will be multiple loudspeakers and if we look at the specification from a consultant it would often have anonymous names like type 1, type 2, type 3 etc. And for each of those there may be one or several options. And in this project I put type 1 as a point source. For, for this we have some information, name of the template, how many speakers what's the maximum number of speakers that the template can have connected, uh, how they are, are monitored. If we select that we want to monitor single failures of loudspeakers, then that will restrict how many that we have and how they're driven. So that could be two speakers in parallel for single failure or more than two, but then they have to be in series. A loudspeaker contains a few brands initially and we'll try to grow that quite quickly. Pick a brand and we can select among the models that that brand currently has in the database. And for a given model the database will say how it can be driven. So in this case it can be driven as a passive full range. I select that then you'll see it's only one, one row here. And if I select that it's biamped, so two-way, then there's an LF channel and a mid-high channel. The information here defines how the input is generated, so I can select that it should be two times the AS power, which is the logical choice when you compare a loudspeaker specifications with 60B crest factor noise versus amplifiers that are typically rated with a burst power. So in this case, the LF is specified as a thousand watt AS into eight ohm, so it needs a two thousand watt amplifier. And if we have two of those with no cable like that, then you would have, want to have an amplifier which is 4000 watts into 4 ohm. This corresponds to 178.9 volt peak out of the amplifier. But if we have a realistic use case, uh, in this case I'll, I'll put in quite a long cable, 80 meters or some, some 250 uh, feet. You see that the impedance seen with the 8 gauge cable, so quite a thick cable, would be 4.4 ohm. So the same peak voltage is now not 4000 but 3600 watts. And the attenuation of the cable is 0.4 dB, or you could also say that 10% of the power is lost in the cable. So the main purpose of this view is to uh, create a circuit that the amplifier can happily drive where you're comfortable with the loss you have in the cable. So in this, for the mid-high, you see now that if we use as much as 80 meters in the home run cable, and I think 5 meters as a link cable to the next speaker is realistic, then you'll see that 1 dB is lost here. If you think that's too much, then you either have to limit the length of the cable, or reduce the number of speakers, or have a thicker cable. So if I go for 10 gauge instead, and I have a 0.7 dB loss for the mid-high channel. So if I'm happy with this, I can go out, and now this template can be used. Uh, I'll take another example with a constant voltage circuit. This L4 is a high priority ceiling solution. So when I say high priority, I mean a, an area where the audio quality is important. Here we said maximum of 20 speakers, the selected loudspeaker here can either be driven low impedance, which is of course not possible with 20 speakers in parallel, but the, these tappings could be relevant. So I'll, I'll pick the 100 volt, 15 watt tap. If we then look at the maximum cable length and, and set that to 100 meters home run, so 330 feet, and the link cable to the between the speakers of 10 meters, then 
if we go with 12 gauge cable then we'll have a 0.3 dB loss in the cables if we try to go on 14 gauge instead we can see that it's a 0.4 dB loss so not not, not so bad or I should change the link cable as well so if we're happy with losing 10% of the power in the cable then this is an okay choice okay so having selected that I'm done and we can go to the next view uh, when we have the circuits we need.